a sunny day in LA. I was supposed to work out and I will, but first I want to go check on the cat family that lives in our basement. I'm trying to figure out what to do with them, but then in the meantime, giving them some cat food. <laughs> and this is where they live. Hey, peep squeaks. Send food for you guys. That was a great idea because Mama Cat and the kittens finally started feeling more comfortable spending more time outside. And that was good for us, because we could take videos of them and finally confirm the number of the cats, because we were not sure to begin with. But it turned out we have one black mama cat and three little kittens. We were lucky to capture some very beautiful moments of the whole kitty family playing outside in the sunlight. You can see Mama Cat observing us from the far, making sure that we're not doing anything bad. But I think she knows at that moment that we do bring food. As beautiful as it was, we knew that this would have to end probably sooner than later because feral cats need to be spayed or neutered and vaccinated and taken care of. So we tried to figure out what would be the best plan for this cat family. Sadly, during the pandemic, the already very overwhelmed rescue and shelter system barely works. So the majority of the work would have to be on us. After consulting with some wonderful volunteers, we designed the plan. And the plan would be to trap the cat family, then take the mama cat um, to a separate foster home where she could get spayed and later returned back to our backyard and become a community cat. And for the kittens, since they're little and they could still be socialized and potentially adopted, we needed a separate foster home. Thankfully, the volunteer was able to leave us some of her gear and this special trap. Here you see the kittens eating inside of that trap. Well, two of them are inside and one is still outside. And so for us, it was crucial to have all the three kittens inside at the same time. Because if we got there just two, the third one would never come out. So they loved messing with us, like playing on top of the trap like this tuxedo kitten while the other two kittens are actually inside and eating. 
And all this time we have to sit behind the bush in the ambush, ready to pull the rope for the trap to close. Good morning, it's Monday morning, 8, 7 a.m. and today's the day that we really need to catch the kittens. Um, they came out last night for a little bit and got comfortable inside the trap, we put some food in there. So today we just need to pull the rope and hopefully catch the little guys. This is the trap that the uh, volunteer lady trapper gave to us. So you just pull this rope and the stick comes out and it clasps. Uh, and kittens are all inside the trap. It is day two of the kitten siege. Siege? How to say it? I don't know. But we've been waiting for the kittens to come out for already two days. We were not successful this Monday morning, but now it's afternoon and we're back on duty. Hopefully they will get brave and venture out because we have a trap full of food for them, ready to go. Mama has been away for already two days, so they're kind of vulnerable and they need to be vaccinated and de They probably have fleas. So yeah, kittens come out. finally caught the kittens after three days of siege. Um, they're tiny and feisty and they're everything we want them to be. They're very scared. I feel very bad for them. They, they, they probably think they got eaten or something because they're right now inside of the uh, carrier and we covered it with blankets. They're in the bathroom and we need them to go from the smaller carrier to a bigger like kennel where they're gonna be for a little while and yeah i just feel so relieved finally because we really needed to catch them without their mother like their immune system is down and they have no protection so it's really imperative for us to finally catch them and we did and it's like the weight of the world is like off my shoulders finally because they are in the bathroom Next step will be cleaning them because they probably have fleas and vaccinating them. No, and also obviously along the way, just making them comfortable and happy to be inside and to be around humans and to be well fed. But yeah, Mike and I are uh, gonna be taking care of them uh, for the next couple of days, a week, I mean, whatever they need. I mean, we have potential adopters, so that's good. But there has to be like a preliminary stage finished first with their uh, defleeing vaccination and uh, um, socializing. <laughs>
Today is the second day of little kittens living in our home and it is a very important day because today we're giving them flea baths. 99% um, chance that they have fleas and before anything we need to clean them up nicely. Uh, I hope it goes smooth. They are feral kitties after all, but they're also tiny guys. So I hope we uh, um, soothe them with a nice warm bath. They have fleas and before anything, we need to clean them up nicely. Uh, I hope it goes smooth. They are feral kitties after all, but they're also tiny guys. So I hope we uh, um, soothe them with a nice warm bath. Oh my god, it's so dirty. Is it wet? Yeah. No, they peed the And And some poos. Okay, buddy, come on. Oh, oh, let go, let go. So dirty. Oh, oh that water is black now. Oh my god. Dirty little basement smush. Let's see your ears. How are we doing on fleas? Oh, oh my god, that water. Oh my goodness. Sorry. It's red also. Blood is it because of blood? that fleas are sucking out? Maybe. Oh my goodness. All right. Just calm. Oh, doesn't that feel nice, huh? It's a little brushy, brushy. Your hair's like so thin and, and wispy, like. soak her in but those that can escape they try to escape to her head because we don't soak the head oh, sure. can't really hold so them they up. all like swarm the head it was the same thing that happened with Clyde I'm actually grateful that we had that experience oh, with let's him let's get you warm because he's white and you can see everything that's happening with him yeah oh mini perito okay oh we got one on the neck I think we should give her another dip soon yeah totally Maybe we just don't soak that. Thousands of fleas. The blood ran red, or the, the blood, the water ran red with blood from like all the scabs and everything. It's really sad. She's probably at risk of getting anemic. She had so many fleas on her. We might have to do it again because we might have not. They soak long enough to get both, to, to kill the fleas. There's just like dead flea carcasses still on her that are like. Anyway. Buried. We brushed for an hour just to brushing to get them out. Moving on to another kitten. All right. Wish us luck.
spicier. Oh. It's okay, bud. I got you. I'm just gonna do a little dip. Come on. kittens down. Uh, Alfie and Senior Pico Picante. We did our best with them, but we just can't bathe them for a long time. They get too cold, so whatever fleas we manage to get off of them, they, they will have to do for now. The dog's killing them all. The ones are brushing off are dead, so... But right now, we're gonna move on to the third kitten, the black tuxedo kitten. He's gonna be extra spicy, we think. So... Hope for the best, though. Nice and brownish red. Oh. I'll get you guys all clean. You clean kittens, so we can give you kisses, yes, and snuggles. We can play with your paws. We can get used to that. He's relaxing quite a bit. I mean, he might just be biting his time. right now are in this small uh, crate and we put a heat pad in it 
so that it's nice, nice and toasty. But I don't think we can see them, can we? They're all cuddled together. I hope we killed all the fleas because that was a lot of effort. Okay, baby guys. I love you, baby guys. Setting up a little playpen for the guys. We have toilet box, we have two beds, a toy, pee pads. I'm gonna put some food in a heat bag now. First, water, because then I want them to have filtered water. So fuzzy. Why we such a good fuzzy boy? Why we so dry and clean? Look at this climber. Where are you going, bud? Alright, where are you going? Are you trying to escape? Oh, guys, we're gonna give you a heat pad. It's gonna be so nice. I don't, you know what? Oh, I'm just gonna put it underneath the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Duh. So the little kitties just came back from their first round of vaccines and uh, I guess they confused us a little bit about their gender, so we will have to... Sex. Gender is a social construct. Okay, I'm sorry. The darker tabby. No, it's Pico Picante. Pico Picante. Come here. Let's see. Over his little face. Let's find his butt. Her or her. Let's see. That looks like a boy. That's around. So Pico's a boy. Here you go, buddy. I can't even get them by this cross. Oh, okay, Alfie girl. I'll show you with Alfie. Wait. Yeah, see, it's a line. Is it zip code? Maybe we're this... wrong about all the other people. Let's see. Burrito time? Let's see. Look at the princess. Well, she did have a different butt. Oh my god. It's Mr. Socks. time so tell me how do you enjoy your first vet visit yeah. that was a very fast visit <laughs>